What's going on, everyone? I'm Nick Cato. I'm Walter Bowley. And I'm Matt Hardy. Post E3. It is. This is our Nintendo Direct E3 conference thing yeah. reaction. We will have uh, one of these for Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony. We're going to try and lump the third parties in as best we can in their own video. But right now, this is just Nintendo. So if you're like him and you hate Nintendo, it'll be a short video. <laughs> keep watching. Hate is such a strong but word. But maybe mute it and go, you know, tab over, go to Wikipedia or something, learn something. So we jump right in. First thing I noticed from Nintendo is my God, they know how to put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> the Muppets were clutch. It was just a fun show to watch. Right. That's well, I mean, so was last year. What was the, the uh, Reggie they and fighting. they were fighting yeah. like Super Saiyan style? It was amazing. Yeah. I, I love that. So I guess we'll just jump into the first game. Mm -hmm. Star Fox Zero was announced. Extensive gameplay on yes. it. You could, if you want, use the motion controls for the cockpit. Uh -huh. You don't have to, I don't think. Mm -hmm. So that's and, a big thing. And one thing that's good for you, I think, is you can exclusively play it with the gamepad. Thank God. <laughs> as long as you don't have to use the motion controls. Because what he was saying made no sense to me. When he's like, oh, it's like you're in a cockpit and you're looking at the screen at the same time. I was like, that makes no sense at all. Because you can only look at one thing at once. Well, what I saw from the preview was the guy was flying his R-Wing. And he would use the gamepad like he's looking at the TV. And then he looks at the gamepad and just does this. So he's looking straight down but flying forward. And like bombs people under him. But it keeps flying straight forward. And then brings it back up to keep playing. Yeah. I don't know, they're, they're bringing back all range mode. Mm -hmm. R wings change forms. Yes. My God, was that awesome! And yeah. Landmaster change form too. Mm -hmm. They have the R wing that turns into like this little like one, weird dare walker I say thing? bird walker thing. Yeah. The Landmaster turns into this like sort of like slow flying yeah. tank like, jet, like thing. helicarrier kind of thing. Then there's this little jet. Fighter, like not the army, so this little jet thing that you can like land and like you drop Rob, uh -huh. and, like does shit on the ground. Yeah. So I loved it. It's mm -hmm. fucking awesome. Yes, it was a great way to open. Matt, any thoughts on Star Fox Zero? I mean, it looks like to me, minus the like transformations and finding something unique with the with the uh, like Wii Mode thing or, or the gamepad. I feel like it was just a safe play that they did. It was like, listen, let's just give them what they want. Let's just give them a, another Star Fox game. Let's not try to, you know, do anything out of the box I mean, crazy. Right. I mean, other than the transformation thing, which mm -hmm. was kind of bold, but I mean, I liked it. It yeah. wasn't like, it wasn't like, mm -hmm. you know, let's try and make them fight on foot type yeah. kind of crap. I think what, so, I think the levels look really cool. Oh, yeah. Too, flying so the other thing, At first, like, uh, my thing messed up. And I thought it was like, I was like, no, they're not making a remake, are they? Oh, yeah, and I was yeah. like, because I, I said I came right in when they went to Cornelia yeah. City or whatever it is. And uh, I was like, and it like looked the same exact thing. Like yeah. there was, I'm, I'm, and it was just playing, you know, paying homage to the yeah. old one. But, but the other thing, no release date yet, just holiday 2015. Right. So, 2016. Or 2015, <laughs> right, holiday 2015. No, so 2016 is when it's going to get released. Probably not. If they did that, they'd be dead. But you mean they already aren't? Well, yeah, they're they're already <laughs> fucked. They're not dead. The, the other thing I noticed: <laughs> number one, I was talking about this a little bit before we started filming. Miyamoto's clutch. Yeah, he's the greatest game developer. He was talking about how the he based this game like off his like thing that he experienced his childhood, like mm -hmm. going underneath those like the loops yeah. and like R and the R wing is like that on walkway in Japan and mm -hmm. stuff. I was like, dude. And then he's like, the extra function to the R wing is all because of the motion controls. You don't need that. the the Wii U has extra buttons. Mm -hmm. but like we don't want to have useless buttons, so let's make them do something. Yeah. And I think the transformation thing's really cool. Transformation's awesome. They added new stunts to the R wing. the The big four are back: Peppy, Slippy, Falco, Toad, uh, Peggy, not... or P Pigma. <laughs> Pigma. <laughs> Pigma. Piggy. And was and that Andros? Sure. They, showed, they showed a monkey pilot. I mean, I don't no, know. that's uh, Andros. Is, uh, yeah. Andrew. Andrew Oinkening. Andrew what? <laughs> Oinkening. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah, they're back. They have the same personalities. I saw in the gameplay after, Falco is still a f douche. Every well, time you save him, Slippy gets into trouble. Uh, Peppy or Pepper? Peppy. Peppy gives advice constantly. <laughs> and he said do a barrel roll. Yes, he did definitely say do a barrel roll. And I like that they also... Um, one thing I think I really picked out was nice is they brought the old voice actors back to play them. I actually didn't notice that. They, they did. That's they awesome. They said they brought the new voice actors back. Oh, that's good. 
But that was yeah. Star Fox. Next game, Super Mario Maker. You can create your levels, and mm -hmm. you can share them globally now, with friends. I may have misheard when they were talking about this, but did they say, like, Mario Maker is the actual system they use to make Mario levels? Uh, sort of. They no. said, like, they drew, they had to draw yeah. the levels on, like, blocks. So it's based on the digital version of that. Because, like, they were saying, like, yeah, this is what we use when we make Mario levels. Like, what? <laughs> like, they said it's a, if they say it's a great thing to play, use and try and get used to it, and if you can do creative things on that, then it's, like, a way to, like, say, hey... Like, if you were wanting to put, like, an application saying, hey, I mm -hmm. want to get into video game design, here's what I made on this game. Kind of like the guy's resonated with Bethesda was his Skyrim mod. Yeah, and, or, yeah. yeah, like Minecraft doing something creative on that. It's like, hey, I got that kind of creative ingenuity. Yeah. Game looks awesome. Day one? Yeah. Not day one. I'm not going to buy it day one. Mm -hmm. I mean, but if none of you guys get it on the Wii U, I will buy it on one of yours. <laughs> Because I want to play it. There's an 8-bit Mario Amiibo. I got announced with a 2. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if this is like with Amiibos, but there's these mystery mushrooms mm -hmm. that transform you into other characters. Oh, like yeah, yeah. No, it's Amiibo support. Yeah, like you put in uh, other characters, and so you get hit with like a mushroom, and in, instead of turning you tiny, it'll turn you into like a tiny Rosalina or a tiny whatever yeah, character it's you like a, Yeah, it's like the... It's like a little mini I can imagine them having a bunch automatic. of amiibos right. for Mario Maker, to, like you being able to run through the level of Zelda or Link or someone like that. Yeah. Or Mega Man. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> I would. Uh, you watch. I bet you they'll make like a Mario like <laughs> Mega, Mega Man level because there's people out there who are just that good. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm already. Well, this is Nintendo. I'll be for another time. But anyways, yeah. But then the other big thing I noticed: Nintendo's and Skylanders are teaming up. They're making Skylanders that. Like the figurines that when you like swip, like swing, flip a yeah, switch on like the base, it turns Skylanders or Amiibos. That and Bowser looks pretty Bowser's cool. doing work with the hand. And they're going to take over Magma Bowser. Bowser. Like that. Disney now Infinity is still like. They'll be fine. Disney Infinity is going to stick around, but this is going to make them probably the most popular ones just because like now they have Amiibo and Skylanders in their game if they continue to support it like that. I don't think. These amiibo work with it. No, no, not yet. Yeah, they're gonna keep, they're gonna Skylander amiibo. Okay, but they, they were like Donkey Kong ones and Bowser. and Bowser, and they both looked awesome. Did they you see them cool. in the yeah. game? Yeah. Bowser, like Donkey Bowser Kong's were like a fire demon hammer, like Donkey wrecking. Kong's like Driving vehicle around. was really yeah. awesome. That motorcycle, yeah. and he had like Diddy on the side. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. You want him? No, he's <laughs> on a motorcycle. I'm good. They were, I think they were trying to get Giga Bowser to be the first name. They're like, no, do something else. Yeah, they said create your own thing. Yeah. I said, and it looked pretty awesome. Yeah. The Bowser maker, like, yeah. breathing the fire and crap. But, next game, Zelda Triforce Heroes. It's a 3DS game. It looks like it's three player co op. Four. 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 I only saw three. Only. Or three. Yeah, three yeah or I four. think it's three players. Well, I've Force only Heroes. seen, yeah, I've only seen, I only saw yeah. three. It's coming out fall 2015. It looks pretty good. It looks like the typical <laughs> top down they, they Zelda. Had, they had some of the bosses were from A Link Between Worlds. Yeah. Where, where two of the bosses I saw in the thing. Was uh, the centipede thing that was in the lava pit and the giant eyeball monster? I don't think it's going to be a story-driven one, though. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to kind of like be like a mini-game dungeon thing. Yeah, yeah. see, that's I'm, I'm a little holding off on it. I don't know if they're supposed to market it as like a full like Legend of Zelda game. Even if it's with friends, it can still be. A it full looked like one of those like game. four swords games. It was on the Game Boy and stuff, and then. But you, the puzzles look fun to yeah, solve. Yeah, you get like, the team ups. You pick up items in the game that like transforms into like different costumes. Yeah, the outfits. And stuff. It's like masks. Like outfits so give you masks. different mm -hmm. powers and abilities and stuff. That well, looks pretty cool mm -hmm. if you're a 3DS owner. Fall 2015. Not many of those. There's Plenty a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the ultimate salt. Uh, is it this? Is it right? This right here? Metroid Prime Federation. Oh my god. <laughs> 3DS games coming out 2016. You can use their Blast Ball game. And Samus is not in it as of yet that we know of. Does. <laughs> you gonna get that wall? Fuck you, Nintendo. I love you, but fuck you. I'll buy it for now. Well, go on to like your game that's actually worth talking Damn. about, like Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, that's actually the next one on my list. But at first, when this game first showed, I was excited. Played, I was like, oh, they no, did, like no. one. It didn't look like a Metroid game. I heard the music. Right, I was like, that's it does Metroid. Music. I, don't, I don't know the music. So yeah, I was, I I I'm seeing the, the game, and I just see like these music. colorful armored things bouncing around. I'm like, okay, what's going on? Metroid Prime Federal what was it? Federation Federation Army. Army. Do you know what I'm hoping? What? I'm hoping they pulled a Sony. 
And just like they did, like, oh, here's Final Fantasy VII coming to PS4. It's the PS like how they teased you and like played a joke on you. Next year we'll get the In real. In fairness, it was a really quick reveal for a Metroid Prime game. Because it's not a Metroid. It's not Sonic. You're playing as the soldiers. It's Metroid Prime. Shit about the soldiers. Halo Three ODST. Too shit. Yeah, that's good, but it's not Master Chief. It's Samus. Well, no, Halo Five, Samus, Halo Five, but you still play as Locke. You still play. Anyways, Samus. let's get yeah. on with that. We'll talk. Yeah, about that. Metroid Federation. But you, you could have beyond something there because it was a very quick reveal for yeah, what's I'm a Metroid. Hoping game. It looked they, very childish. It looked like they tried to get, yeah. stay away from the maturity of Metroid and went for a more childish look. Mm-hmm. So Fire Emblem Fates. Mm-hmm. The Looks most Japanese good. game I've ever seen debut. No, you're thinking of the other one. Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire. Yeah, that one. That's the one you might. Fire oh, Emblem. Oh, Fire Emblem. Yeah, the okay. Fire Emblem okay. Fates just 3DS game. It's coming out 2016. Looks very clutch. Baller trailer. Yeah, yes. that's what I wrote. Baller trailer. I wrote baller trailer. <laughs> <laughs> that's my show. I describe baller. <laughs> Pretty cool yeah. characters look awesome. I think it looks like you play as. Uh, can't you make your guy male or female? Yeah, you it, can. Okay. Yeah. Probably. It yeah. Looked yeah. a very. Like, it looked very story driven to me this time. Yeah. Like, I really felt like this looks like a story I could be interested in. Like, I was like, the whole time, I was like, who's this blue haired girl and why is she always looking like she's getting hurt? Why is everyone have <laughs> blue hair except for Roland? <laughs> okay, so the next game was. Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem. Which is the people. Things I noticed. Persona. Okay. It's that, far more Shin Megami Tensei than Fire Emblem. That's that, why it looks so anime. That was like the Two, most Japanese thing I'd ever seen. Comes out 2016. <laughs> Three, did you notice Kramas in it? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. I did. Yeah, he's in it. I did see the cross. What is it supposed to be? I, it was in Japanese, I so I, I saw. Really I saw they were in high school, and then they were in Battlefield, and then there was a chick with exposed cleavage. And There's a lot of that. So, yeah. I don't know. It's anime. I saw swords, I saw magic, and I saw high school drama. But it he, sounds like Persona 4. <laughs> it sounds like <laughs> Japanese. It looked good. I, I liked it. I'm not going to play it, but I liked it. <laughs> See, there's a bunch Why of games. Why do you say it like See, no, that? No, no, say, there's a I'm bunch not gonna, of, no, no, this is what I'm saying. There's a bunch of these games. I wish these, I wish these designers would come up to you and just slap you and be like, good, I don't want you to play No, this is what I'm saying. Don't give me your credit. This is what I'm saying. I'm giving you their, I'm giving them the credit because it does look good, and I'm sure people who like those style of games will love them. I'm not one of those people. I'm not discrediting their game. It's just not for me. Well, I I'm telling people it looks good. Just like with RTS games. Start, like... Like StarCraft Two looks amazing. I'm not gonna play like, it. Honestly, I don't like honestly, like or I saw, Civ. like I saw, I saw like that game, and I mean it was on a useless, you know, piece of hardware. If it was on the Vita, I'd look into it more. But uh, they're trying to sell copies. So, Shimigami Tensei was Wii U. Shimigami Tensei is like no. I'm just saying if it was on Vita, I would have played it. No, it's not on 3DS though. It's only Wii U. It's not. It's the Wii U. Yeah, it's All right. Well, if it was on, I, I don't know. If it was on yeah, like an actual you. like. Okay. Good system. Well, but I would be much more interested to play Fire Emblem characters in a traditional turn-based way, like Final Fantasy turn-based yeah. way. I don't like. I'm not a fan of like the you know board where you move your guys around turn by turn. Like Same here, yeah, like regular Fire Emblem. I'm yeah. not a huge fan of that gameplay style. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter. I don't think it looks cool, and I don't like the characters. But yeah, but I may. I'll see how this game's like combat system is because right. I mean, I like for Atlas. Some, probably be turn-based. I like Atlas. So I, I, I'm thinking they more went towards like the Shin Megami Tensei style of game. I think Fire Emblem Combat would be my guess. Okay. But the next game is another game that looks awesome that I'm just probably not going to play. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles X comes out. Released it 12 4 2015. Yep. Good. That Nintendo's getting some games was, was the best looking game on Nintendo's conference. Still Star Fox. Like, I, mean, I mean, just like the the world they showed, the graphics, the combat. That it like it really that was a game that could have stood chest. next to Microsoft and Sony's best games, is the way it looked and the way it was presented. Very like, good game. Very like good. you could have shown the the Horizon game and Battlefront, and then Xenoblade X, and people wouldn't think you're watching a Nintendo conference. It looks like you're watching a AAA conference, and that game just looks absolutely amazing. Xenoblade Chronicles was awesome. So Xenoblade X, I'm sure, is going to be awesome. It's already released in Japan. The mechs look really cool too. Oh yeah. The, uh, the mechs, the first game was all about the Bionis versus the Mechis or something. It was machines versus people. But they were like living on giant titans that were so big it just felt like you were on an island. Yeah. So this game's totally different, unrelated. So we'll huge game. So no yes. shulls? Huge. I don't think so. Huge game. Yes. Everyone's saying. And it looked like more range combat. It looked yeah. like your guy was much more of a shooter than Shulk was. 
but awesome. 12, 4, 15 release date. Put on your Christmas list if you have a Wii U. Don't, There's don't, not a lot my of Christmas list is so big. <laughs> Mine's not. I, I don't really have Christmas lists anymore. My dad's like, what do you want? I was yeah. being metaphorical. I know. I'm not I'm taking this down. <laughs> Good. My, my list. Uh, I, didn't, I don't. My list of games right now is just like... 23 years old, I don't have a Christmas list anymore, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Shut up. No, I really don't. <laughs> but I would like to have one. I wish <laughs> now, I did. we can just blow through the rest of this stuff, because mm -hmm. there's only one thing I'll like talk a lot about. But right. Animal Crossing, Happy Home, On Decoration. I put Animal Crossing HHD shit. <laughs> what? Happy home <laughs> decoration. They said Did you HHD. say shit? Yeah. <laughs> HHD shit. It. Just because it's like, that's, that's cool. That's disrespectful. No, it's not doing Animal Crossing is a monstrous fault. This is our show. I'm just saying, but that's not animal. That's like <laughs> decorating homes and shit. Sorry, Animal Crossing hey. fans. Then the other one, you this game actually kind of cool. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. I originally put Animal Crossing Mario Party. So like, it looks like Mario Party. You need Amiibos for it, though. Mm -hmm. You need Amiibos to play it. It looks like an Animal Crossing Mario Party. That's the easiest way to describe it. Okay. Could be cool with friends. So could you, like, use these Amiibos? Yes. Uh, I only saw them use Animal Crossing Amiibos in the trailer, but that might be just for promotions. Okay. Like, promoting It would be cool amiibos. if it's, like, all the, like, the first wave of Amiibos. That yeah. way you don't have to go out and, like, get a bunch more. Then, next game, Yoshi's Woolly World. Looked good. It did. I it like does. the way, like, unraveling the it's world cute. looked. Like, it looked really cool. I will give it that. I will buy a Yoshi Woolly World Amiibo. The little wool thing. Why don't you buy the game? Let's not get crazy. <laughs> it's not it get crazy. Like, see why I like it. There's only one game I'm buying. Watch another video for that. There's, <laughs> see, the thing is that I liked about it, I mean, one, I'm, I'm 24, I don't give a shit about yarn like that. <laughs> it's cute, though. But, yeah, I get it. It's a childish thing, but I, I, I felt like they were going back to the roots of what Yoshi. made Yoshi's Island, Super Mario yeah. World Yoshi's Island, so good. Which one is? It, it was. It was amazing. No, which was what was it about that made it so amazing? Like just the the, the they, they kind of brought back like you know the eggs like I saw that they have which was like your ammo mm -hmm. the like you know this the sheer fun of a platform yeah. it was just a very good platformer with Yoshi it was like I just remember that game it was one of the best mm -hmm. new Super Nintendo games I ever played yeah. I've been telling him to play that he I, I mean he's on a sleeper on that one this but. is this is my whole thing on it all depends on price mm -hmm. and it's like. Thirty bucks, forty bucks. I'm talking about the regular Super Mario. No, I know. I'm talking about. I, I, I'm would, talking expect, about Yoshi I would expect forty to fifty. Fifty with the Yoshi amiibo in it. I'll get it. I think there's one that comes up. And the know. other thing you need to know about it: use any amiibo you have, and it changes Yoshi into like a an yarn. outfit. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah like a Mario one. That was kind of Mega funny. Man yarn Yoshi. I'm more excited. I'd be more excited for a Sonic. Well, because Sonic is cooler than Mega Man, but. This is the one I'm going to talk about big. Yokai Watch is coming to America and Western audiences. This is like the new phenomenon in Japan. It's like the new Pokemon. That's what I know. It's basically like the new Pokemon in Japan. It's, Did I miss something? It's the one where the kids like were putting a coin and it's like watch thing and it's like Pokemon turn-based fighting and stuff. It's coming out holiday 2015. 3DS, I'm pretty sure it is. I think it's 3DS mm -hmm. only. But... New kind, like this could be huge. Like it's selling like yeah, game busters in. It's one of the last things they showed. So it's like a collect them battle sort of, kind of thing? and you run around just like it, it's sort of like a new style Pokemon thing. Okay. There's like monsters. It's huge in fucking Japan. Like everyone's playing that shit. Okay. So that's cool. It's kind of especially that it's coming out so soon too. Right. So Nintendo's starting to bolster its lineup, not Wii U mm -hmm. lineup, but well, the one that makes money. Yeah. Well, there are a lot. It's not that bad. Then the next one. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. Mm -hmm. It's a fuse coming out in 2016. It's a fusion of it looks like Super Mario All Stars mm -hmm. and Paper Mario. Yeah. With it, like the freaking Paper Mech. Yeah. Fucking Mario. Yeah, thing. like it went like 2D to All 3D right. to like. Fucking back. awesome. I didn't know what was happening, but I enjoyed it. Super Mario's. I mean, I, I kind of got out of Paper Mario's as like what's the one that came out for the Wii. Uh, the Super know. Paper Mario on the Wii. That was yeah, that one I didn't really care for. But like the one that was on GameCube and N sixty four were really good. I love those, especially the GameCube one it was a very good story for a Paper Mario, like a Mario game. It really like stole the elements of like Mario RPG and made it like you know with its twisted paper. Right. It was really cool. So the last announcement they made 
I'm gonna take it back. Maybe we use Lana doesn't all that bad. Mm -hmm. I've never seen all this. Mario Tennis Ultra something. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I lost the last thing. It's a new Mario Tennis game. Did you type shit? No, it's no. not. It's coming out for Wii U. Some of that tennis shit. It looks really cool. Holiday party. Mario Tennis is fucking awesome. Yeah. I love Mario Tennis. So, I'm pretty excited for this. You know what? That, that was Mario's press conference. All Mario's all... press conference? There you go. <laughs> Nintendo's <laughs> press Mario's conference. 30th year, yeah, so. they're saying, like, uh, upload your Mario moments to their uh, YouTube Oh, yeah, I saw thing. that. They'll yeah. donate for a good cause. It's cool, I like it. I'm a, I don't know. Mm -hmm. All in all, impressions on the conference. A little underwhelmed. Yeah. Mainly just because of the Metroid salt bath that I was mm -hmm. in when I saw it. Because when you said, because I didn't watch it, when yeah. it aired. When you said clutch announcement, I was like, See, because see, oh. I don't, like, all I saw was I didn't. I was, I was, I was on and off like oh, okay. text. So I just saw Metroid Prime Dude. come up on the screen. I was like, "Well, let me text Nick. He's late for not watching salt it right now." Bit. I was, and then like after show, I watched. Ridden like, with salt. <laughs> but all in all, <laughs> this conference showed me like it's what Nintendo's all about. It's all yeah. about the people. It's all like they're just fun. Uh, yeah, like, they're not trying to compete. They, they, play, they were pumping out. I mean, quantity, quality. Which you say what you want. They were game, 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 well, game, 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 game. All like, of those games are like Nintendo, well, except for like the Fire, like yeah. Super Nintendo Tenses and Fire Island and stuff. But that's all like first party games. So yeah. you know, all these games are going to be really good. Yeah. So all in all, to rate, mm -hmm. let's do this. This yeah. is the first film. This is the first thing we're filming, by the way. Yeah. So we're going as we go. One to ten. Okay. You can twenty point scale. 20 points again. Like 1.5. Oh, okay, okay. Like okay. What would you give it? I would give it a 7.5. I wanted more games. Mm -hmm. There was awesome moments. Nintendo's press conference was just enjoyable to watch. Mm -hmm. So, 7.5. I, I didn't get the same enjoyment out of the Muppets thing as you did. I thought it was cool, but it was just kind of like get to the games for me. But I want to give it a 6.5. 6. Um, okay. I enjoyed, I enjoyed Xenoblade X. Mm -hmm. And um, Star Fox. Absolutely enjoyed Star Fox and Xenoblade X. But otherwise, was a little underwhelmed with the games. Metroid thing was just weird. Seems like a weird decision for Nintendo to make to do that. And it kind of speaks to the larger problem of them just not getting what people want. So I'm going to give it a 6.5. Uh, I was at this point. You're better off going. I don't even think I'm really going to say anything. I'm not a Wii U holder. <laughs> Did you watch the conference? Yeah, I watched it. Great. I don't know. I mean, like, the Star Fox game was cool, but it wasn't anything that that I was like. Let me guess. Oh my god, I would love to get this game. Why did I trade my Wii U in? Let me guess your score. Five. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Boom. There Boom. You go. Like, yeah. The the reason why I, the reason why I thought I honestly no, you know what. I would give it a six. I would give it a ten points. Bottom more. okay. No, like I'm you saying passed. because I'm on Nick's side because I liked Nintendo's attitude of like they even though they're just giving us something, yeah. they're still saying, Hey, we're still just trying to have fun. Yeah, we're Nintendo. And we're not we're not we're not gonna let because we suck <laughs> get down on us. I don't think they thought that. <laughs> but I respect what you're yeah. trying to say. <laughs> I love Nintendo. Let us know in the comments mm -hmm. what you thought of Nintendo's Direct E3, what you liked most about it, yeah. what you didn't like about it, if you liked what I liked. Mm -hmm. I hope you did. And uh, check out all our other E3 coverage. We're going to start just getting them out right now. So. I'm making a playlist E3 yeah. coverage. Boom. There you go. Keep gaming on Nintendo.